हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम टू एस टी एल इन सी प्लस प्लस लेक्चर सीरीज सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्रायोरिटी क्यू कंटेनर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन कंटेनर्स लाइक एरेज लिस्ट स्टैक क्यू सो लेट स्टार्ट विद प्रायोरिटी क्यू सो प्रायोरिटी क्यू इज अ अडेप्टर्स कंटेनर वी हैव सीन इन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कंटेनर दैट अडेप्टर कंटेनर आर नथिंग बट काइंड ऑफ सिक्वेंशियल कंटेनर ओनली but with different interface the way of accessing the elements is quite different in adapter container right now moving forward priority queue is same as that of queue like queue follows fifo principle that is first in first out priority queue also follows the same principle that is fifo moreover priority queue replicate max heap or min heap In our previous lectures, we have discussed about max heap and min heap. In max heap, we are having the highest element in the root node, and in the min heap, we are having the smallest element in the root node. Similarly, in priority queue also, smallest or the greatest element is in the front of the priority queue. We can take an example of this. So this is a replication of max heap in which the root element or the front is having the highest element and the min heap is replicated by this priority queue in which we are having the smallest element in the front so whenever we try to pop an element from the priority queue either we are going to get the greatest or the smallest element among all so in this case we are going to get 90 and in this case we are going to get the smallest element so we can make our priority queue in any one of these condition we will see in the practical demonstration that how we can create now let's just quickly see the implementation of priority queue so to create priority queue first we need to include the header file that is queue please note that this header file is same for the queue as well as for the priority queue now the declaration part for declaring priority queue we need to use this class so that is priority queue class which is defined in this header file after that in the parameters we need to pass the object type the kind of data that we want to store in these priority queue so here we are putting int followed by the name of priority queue now let's hop over into visual studio to see the practical demonstration and for better understanding now in the visual studio we have included the header file that is queue After that we are going to create our priority queue which replicates the max heap which means the front element is having the highest value for that we are going to use the class that is priority queue which is defined in this header file now after that we are going to pass the object type so the object type is the kind of data that we want to store in the priority queue so here it is integer and the name of priority queue is q1 after that let's push few elements or values into our priority queue so we are pushing 20 40 and 30 please note that in the normal queue all the elements will be arranged in the similar manner but in case of priority queue which replicates the max heap the elements will be arranged in the descending order like this 40 30 and 20 and if we try to access the top or i can say the front element then it will return 40 for that let's run our program so here you can see that our top element is 40 right now going forward let's pop out the element from this priority queue as we know that priority queue follows fifo that is first in first out so it will pop out this 40 from this now the new top will be 30 right so let's check whether the new top is 30 or not so you can see that our new top is 30 now going forward let's see the next function that is size the size function will return the number of elements that are present in the queue and we will use this size function with the help of priority queue name or the object name dot the function name size and it will return the number of elements so let's run our program to see the number of elements now present so here two elements are present because one we have popped out now the last function is swap this swap function will simple will swap the priority queues so we can understand it with this example priority queue 
dot swap function priority queue two. So with this, I hope priority queue with max heap is pretty clear to you. Now let's move to the min heap. So let me comment this and make this uncomment. So this is the way in which we are going to create the min heap or we can replicate the min heap in priority queue, which means the smallest element will be in the front of the priority queue. So this is the method in which we are going to create that. First, we are going to provide the object type, the kind of data that we are going to store followed by the vector int and the greater. This greater means we are going to replicate the min heap now followed by the priority queue name. Now after that, let's push the same elements 20, 40 and 30 into the priority queue. Now it will not arrange in the descending order, rather it will arrange in the ascending order like this 20, 30 and 40. So the new top or the top element will be the smallest. So now let's check whether our top element is 20 or not. So let's run our program. So you can see that our top element is 20. It means we are replicating the min heap. Now going forward, let's pop out the front element, which means we are popping out the 20 from the priority queue and the new top should be 30. So let's run the program again to check. So yeah, correct. The new top is 30. Now going forward, this size function will work in the similar manner and this swap function also. So with this, I hope the concept of priority queue is pretty clear to you. Excellent.